I'm an independent and I lean a little bit to the right, so I'm center right. But when it comes to this Brianna Taylor um, grand jury decision, I think something needs to be said. And I was hoping that I would not have to be the one that says it because I know this is highly political. And no matter what you say, you're going to be attacked by one side or the other. But I've been watching the coverage of this, and this has not been said, and it needs to be said. Um, you know, there's this old saying that a grand jury will indict a ham sandwich. Basically what that means is that the prosecutor can feed the grand jury the information that they want to feed them so that they can kind of dictate the outcome, meaning that it's really easy to get a grand, a grand jury to indict. So if a grand jury doesn't indict, it's because the prosecutor didn't want the grand jury to indict. That is just the truth of the matter. You hear it over and over again. I could actually put together a montage of clips over the last 10 years that would go on for hours and hours of people saying, a grand jury will indict a ham sandwich. A grand jury will indict a ham sandwich. Meaning that if the prosecutor wants the indictment, the prosecutor is going to get the indictment. That's what that means. Now, when it comes to Breonna Taylor, they put it, the case in front of a grand jury, and then the grand jury did not indict. So you know what that tells me? That the prosecutor didn't want an indictment. That's what it tells me. You know what else it tells me? That the prosecutor formed the grand jury just to placate the left. So the bottom line is that Black Lives Matter and the people that are peacefully protesting have a legitimate reason to protest because they were just fed a line. They were placated. They were told that they were doing a legitimate investigation when they were not. I'm not saying whether Breonna Taylor's death was wrong or right. I mean, obviously it was wrong. I, I guess I should clarify. I'm not saying that the officers, what the officers did was wrong or right. I'm not saying that they should ultimately be convicted, but this grand jury thing is a joke because they, if the prosecutor wanted an indictment, the prosecutor would have got an indictment. And in this case, I think an indictment was warranted. I'm not saying that the officers would have ultimately been convicted, but Brianna Taylor's family deserved a trial. And those officers deserved to be punished for the mistakes that they made that led to her death. Whether they would have lost their job over it, that's a whole nother debate. And my opinion on that is I don't think they would have been convicted. I think they would have gone to trial and they would have been found innocent. But that's besides the point. We weren't at that point yet. We were at the point of a grand jury and a grand jury supposedly is going to, or can indict, will indict a ham sandwich. So there's something fishy about this. I'm sorry that I'm the one that had to say it because I am center right. But uh, in this instance, there is something fishy and people that are protesting peacefully, not the rioters, the rioters and the people that shot the police officers, those people need to be punished and go to prison themselves. But the... Um, peaceful protesters they have a point here and I'm I'm gonna say that I'm on their side this grand jury was just a blatant in your face we don't care about justice because if the prosecutor wanted an indictment by, by the grand jury the prosecutor would have got an indictment because a grand jury will literally indict a ham sandwich. You know how grand juries work. They're only one-sided. They only hear the evidence from the prosecutor. There's no defense. That's how grand juries work. So the fact that the prosecutor did not get an indictment in this case shows that they didn't want an indictment. It was complete placating the family of Brianna Taylor 
the protesters, the Black Lives Matter people, everybody. They were just going through the motions to make it look like they were doing something, but they really weren't. I'm sorry I'm the one that has to say this, but that's the facts, that's the truth. So to say that these protesters came out of, these protests came out of nowhere, that's completely wrong. People that are upset about the grand jury decision in the Breonna Taylor case have a legitimate reason to be upset. And that's me, I'm a Trump supporter, I'm on the right. You know, I'm in the center, I'm on the right, I'm registered independent. I can see things from both sides and sometimes it's a curse when you can see things from both sides because you get hit from all sides. But I'm saying the Brianna Taylor grand jury decision is um, there's more to it than what meets the eye and that's just the facts. All right, that's my perspective. As a licensed private investigator, I've been a private investigator for the last 19 years. And that's my professional opinion on this case. Leave a comment, um, like this video, share this video. Thanks for watching.